all right you're welcome to this channel satellite boost now i'm doing this video because um i've got and we've been receiving a lot of questions on our comment sections concerning um um a particular topic converting your gstv decoder to universal receiver to watch any fta channels all right so um i think i'll just go over the process um again in this video then I will answer all the questions that have been asked, all right, from various viewers, all right? So um, just uh, pay attention to this video as we go over the process. Now, the first thing you have to know about converting your DSTV decoder to a universal re receiver to watch any FTA channel is, um, number one, you have to um, have um, an FTA um, satellite installed in your dish all right you know for normal dstv stations you have to install the dstv satellite all right on your dish now what you do install an fta um, satellite on your dish all right so after installing it connect um, your closure cable you can either remove um change the the, the you can either install a new dish to have that um, FTA satellite on it, or you can change the position of your existing DSTV dish. All right. So when, after doing that, connect um, your Koja cable to the back. Koja cable of your FTA satellite to the back of your, okay, to the LMB in of your DSTV decoder. So what that means is you have to have a basic knowledge of um, satellite installations to be able to do this. A basic knowledge, at least. All right. You can go through my videos. I have videos um, on where I taught how to install FT channels. Yes. So a basic knowledge, a basic knowledge of it. Now the next thing you do, pick your remote. You see, as you can see says there's no signal this may be speak your remote press menu on your remote all right then go to settings settings that's it then go to uh satellite settings you see that now since you've gotten here the next thing you do now go to additional networks then press ok additional networks now this guys, that's what I said you have to have a basic knowledge. Now the pre-installed um, FTA channel on my dish now is um, Astra 2A. All right, that's um, 28, 28E Astra 2A. Okay, so now what you do if you have a basic knowledge of your satellite installations, um, then you have you 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 have a pre-informed knowledge of the different frequencies on that particular satellite. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take you through. Um, maybe let me just take you through some of the frequencies on the satellite. All right. Um, what you do now, I just um, put on my FTA um, receiver. Now, let me, you go to your menu, go to all right, TP list, then go to the satellite, the FTA satellite. All right, that's it. That's it. So, first one is 12525V, 30,000. You see it? So, these are other satellites on that um, other frequencies on that satellite 12605e 29 and 12724 this 11635 so there are a lot of frequencies on that particular satellite yeah so you can see all right so what i will just do now is i'll take i'll take these frequencies down on a note i'll take these frequencies down all right Take them down. So you can take you can take them down. Okay, from number four. 
can just take them down with me. Uh, number four, 12525V, 5V, 30,000. Yes, let me, number five, 12684, H, 29999. Then number seven, 12605, V, 29999. Number, number seven, right? Yeah, 12724. V twenty nine 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 nine. Then you can um see more. It's number eight, number nine, number eight, eleven, six three five, H twenty nine 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 seven zero. Number 10, 11094, V, 29999. Number 11, 11596, V, 29999. Number 12, 11635, V, 29999. Then let's see if there are more. I think it's 13, alright? So that's number 13, 29999. So since you've gotten this, now let's go back to uh, add the disk to it now. Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. All right. Um, from the place that we're now, these net additional networks that's network one. Now scroll down network one, uh, network one. What you do now, enable you. You see, enable network is on no. So put it enable network. Yes. So you see it now. You go to frequency, frequency. So one of the first frequency we saw was number four there. That's twelve five two five twelve. Five two five. You see, modulation okay, DVBS. The symbol rate is thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. So you see, it, um, polarization is V. So you see, the signal, the signal strength has come up. The signal quality also has come up. All right. So just go and just scan this. Scan this. Okay. Yes, you see it's scanning, all right? You see it's scanning. Now, you go, you see it's scanning. So as you can see, it's done scanning. So what you just do, um, press your uh, channel grid. You see it, channel grid. Channel grid. I think a lot of people have um, problems, had, actually had issues with this. After scanning, they say they can't get the channels. All right? Just go to your channel grid. So press this, either this side, left side, or side, right side. All right? So just press the right side. You see it now? Now, um, see if, okay, you see it? It's there, right? Now, what you, start, what you do now is that just keep going down keep going down at the end of the dstv stations you see the new stations that were scanned okay at the end of each Yeah, you see, I'm taking my time because of the questions, um, challenges people had on the other video. So that's why I'm taking my time on this. So just follow this video. And I know at the end of this, vid this video, all right. All right, are we there now? 
Okay, I think we still have to go down. All right. You see from here, see from this Adom TV, press OK, 984. You see? This is an FTA station. Now, still good. Check your channel grid. Uh, you see, see, Joy Prime is there. See, Joy Prime is there. You see, it's very easy. Now, go back your channel grid. Check, keep checking all these other stations. MX24. See? All right. So, now, having done this, um, you return back to the setting. Return back to the setting. You know, we just imputed just one satellite now. Now, return back to the settings and go back to that satellite setting, to that additional networks. Now, that's network one that we fixed. Now, go to network two. You see, that's network one. Now, go to network two. Then, okay, as usual, enable network, yes. You see it? I think some other people had challenges with this. They said um, they cannot um, find, couldn't get the network options on their decoder. So you cannot get the network options on your decoder if you have not enabled network. You see it? You go to additional networks, then you go to enable. Uh, you see, that's network two, right? Now go down to enable network. You see, no, now no, just press side the side these side buttons this grid channel grid and the network will be enabled yes you see it you see now they, there's a um it's showing brighter now now okay let's off it you see the difference you see it's dimmer now yes you see it's brighter now now go to your frequency now pick another frequency not the first one you pick another frequency from those frequencies that we wrote down Another frequency um, here is, okay, let's go for um, 12684, 126684, then, um, okay, symbol rate is 29999, 292999, then the polarity is V, all right, no, it's H, sorry. So you go to polarization, put it on H. You see, the signal strength and the signal quality, they are there. So just go to scan this, scan this, and press OK. And wait for it to scan, all right? You see, same thing you do. Go, go to general grid. If I will, yeah, I'll just I just click start from down and I'll go I'll go up. It seems the up. Uh, okay, I think we are we are we are close. Okay, you see G one TV is there now. G one TV. I think I pressed the wrong. Okay, you see TVXYZ is there now. TVXYZ is there. You see it? Now, channel grid, just check for the. Uh, so. What you do now, return back to the settings again, all right? Um, press your menu, go to um, settings, go to satellite settings, go to additional networks. Now, this time, not network one, not network two, because we've already imputed network one, imputed network two. Now, go to network three, all right? Now, pick a different frequency. Well, for instance, the next one, another frequency we wrote down was 126 05 v29999 so let's see now as usual go to enable network and say yes i'm enabling, enabling my network then go to frequency what's the frequency 12605 
um sorry about that um 12 605 symbol rate what was the symbol rate 29999 all right go to polarization is v case v you see the signal strength signal quality are here so just go to scan this press okay um it's not there's nothing out there i think after this video don't watch this video to the end because i'm going to ask i'm going to be asking answering more questions all right so don't just um, um watch um a part of the video and just quit watch this video to the end so you get whatever explanation you need to get on how to configure your dstv decoder to watch um fta channels all right so those of you in zambia those of you in mozambique those of you in Uganda, Tanzania, South Africa, ask questions. I'm answering your questions gradually right now. So you see, now go back to that settings, then go to, okay, see settings, go back to that satellite settings, additional network as usual. Now, not network one, network one is, is set, network two is set, network three is set. Now go to network four. We only have five networks. So network five now network four now pick another frequency all right okay enable network first then pick another frequency what's the frequency now the, ne the next one 12 7 2 4 let's see it 12 7 2 4 yes so what symbol it's 29 9 all right okay position v you see, signal strength is there, signal quality is there. Now just go to scan this and press OK and scan it. All right. As usual, press your channel grid. If I were you, I'll just go down and from down, I'll come up and I'll see my stations. All right. You see, you see, the, there are more stations that are coming up. More stations. This is TVXYZ, right? More stations are coming up. You see it now. Um, go back. I think it's remaining just one. Um, go back again. Um, go to your satellite like additional network. Then this time, just only one network that's remaining. That's that should be that's network five. All right, that's network five. Enable network. Yes. What's the uh, frequency? What's the frequency? Um, okay. Let's pick 11635. 11635. All right. Um, symbol, what is the symbol? 29970. What is the polarization? Its polarization is H, horizontal. All right. So you see, now maybe some people, for, so, for those of you that said, um, I just wrote the list of the, a lot of the questions, I wrote them down. Some people said uh, um, there's no sound on some of the stations. If there's no sound, what you do, just come to this uh, modulation, change it to DBS2, and there will be sound. All right? If there's no sound on it, you can see my mind, there, are sound, there is sound. There's sound on it. There's no frequently asked questions on converting your DSTV decoder to universal receiver to watch FTH channels. All right, so I just I just put together a list of questions, frequently asked questions. A lot of people have asked um, questions. If those questions fall under the same category, I put them together to give an answer. All right, so I will not just bother in with all the questions. I'll just put them in various categories. All right, one is it couldn't get the network options on my DSTV Explorer. Explain. All right, so that means that um, you maybe you've not enabled number one, you have not enabled, enabled your network. So once you come to uh, your year, maybe your year network, additional network, network one, or let me just go over the process. I'll just go over the process. Um, go over the process. You press your menu, this is your menu button. This blue button is your menu button. All right, so press it, then go to satellites, 
then go to satellite settings, come to additional networks. Then you see network one, you have to come down here, then to enable network, yes, all right? I think that should be where you're having your issues from. Then another one says, doesn't work in Uganda, another person from Tanzania, another person from South Africa. If, I think another person from Mozambique also, if it works, DSTV works in your location, and FTA channels, FTA satellite works in your location, then this is definitely going to work. That if you follow the steps I've just highlighted in this video, number one is having restored um, FTA satellite on your dish, all right? Then, then follow the steps on this video. Say not working, bro. Showing parameters are probably incorrect. That means you are actually entering the wrong parameters for um, uh, uh, for the satellite you have installed on your dish. I think I already showed you that on this video, how to get your parameters. All right, so make sure the parameters you are entering are the parameters for the satellite you installed. You can also get your parameters from um, linksand.com. If you know the satellite, maybe it's 28, you can just type on your Google, Google, 28 e links up so when you get all your frequencies on that satellite please after doing this how can i switch back if i want to subscribe it's simple just reinstall your dsp frequency on your dish and reset your decoder i was only able to scan network one and two that's great if you have done network one and two you have done a great job it means network three and four will be you will have any issues um scanning network three and four all you have to do is to make sure you enter a valid frequency and different from the one you entered from the dock one and two on three, four, and five. My remote refuses to change frequency number. Uh, I don't know, maybe your remote might be 40, but if your remote is not 40, then I think the problem here is you have to come down here. See now, if I'm trying to press a figure, it will not impute it. So what I do, this, you see this back arrow key? This, 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 this. You see this grid, uh -huh. this, the back arrow. You press it back. Oh, you see, it has removed everything that was there. So now you can impute your new frequency. All right. Yeah, I think I've answered your question. Then please, he said, please, can I also add, can I also do that on my TRLMB? I'm sorry, GSTV decoder doesn't allow that section of your uh, of it, so um, it doesn't allow for three LMB, it's just one. You say, hey man, how do you get the numbers, the frequency modulation and frequency symbol rates? I think I showed you that on this video and already answered that question already too. See, um, okay, do you have to do the settings every time you switch on? You don't have to do the settings every time you switch on. All right, so thanks for watching this video. Please like this video, make a positive comment on this video, and share this video on your very platform. And if today is your first time watching us, please subscribe to this channel so that you can get notifications every time we drop new, new videos. If you have any question at all, please drop um, that question on our comment section. And if you have any videos you want us to make, please request also on our comment section. I'll get it back to you. Thanks for watching Satellite Balls.